now comes the time where we need to learn how to take care of our instrument and how to take the instrument apart. So, first things first to take care of our reed, we need to take it off of the mouthpiece. So I'm loosening the screw on my ligature. You may have two screws, you may have screws on the bottom instead of the top, and it's gonna be different for everyone. Now that I have my reed, I need to find its reed case and place it safely inside. Now my reed case looks like this, so I will slip it in from the side. Uh, if I can get it. Other reed cases, you insert from the top and then it goes in there. So just keeping that thin end protected because that thin end breaks like that. It's just very, very easy and very, very fragile. So we keep it protected and then we put that reed back in our case. Now, our ligature, just for now, we're gonna set it aside because metal ligatures are very, very easy to break. The metal is just not very strong. So we just take that off, set it aside for now. And then we're going to take off our mouthpiece, holding onto the barrel, holding onto the mouthpiece. We're gonna twist, 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 twist. Now, something that we don't need to do every time, but I'm gonna talk about in this video, is greasing the corks. There is cork on many parts of the clarinet. I believe I talked about that in the last video. And they need to be moistened with cork grease. Boom, cork grease. It looks like chapstick, don't wear it as chapstick. So I'm gonna take that cap off. Mine looks a little funky, it must have melted or something. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of that cork grease on the cork. Again, this is not something you need to do every time, just every once in a while, just to make sure that the corks are nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna set my cork grease down. Something I do to help kind of get that cork grease into the cork is I just rub with my fingers on the cork back and forth to make sure it's really in there and to sort of wipe off that excess cork. Now that I've got the mouthpiece ready to go, I need to find a cleaning cloth. Mine looks a little raggedy, that's a okay. So the cleaning cloth is this cloth and it has a little weighted end over here. I don't need the weighted end yet, so I'm gonna take just a corner of the cloth and I need to fish it through this top part of the mouthpiece. Well, I guess either part of the mouthpiece. It's just gotta go in so that way we can clean out the moisture. Now, it's not going to totally fit all the way through. We can't run this whole cloth all the way through the mouthpiece because otherwise it will get stuck. Usually some cleaning swabs can fit through, but most cannot. So generally speaking, we just fish it through and then we go back and forth. Once we think that we've got all the moisture out of there, our mouthpiece is cleaned and ready to go back into its case. So we grab that ligature, grab the cap, and then we can put that away. Now we've got the cleaning swab. We want to make sure there's no nuts in the room for the cord. And we're going to place our clarinet like this on our knee or sitting on the ground and we're going to keep one hand on it at all times. We're going to take that weighted end of the string, place it into the barrel all the way until it comes out the bell at the bottom. So it either hit the ground or hit your lap. And then holding, avoiding as many keys as possible, holding down on the lower joint, we're going to pull the string through the instrument. So right now, the cleaning cloth is right in here, soaking up that moisture. I'm going to tug gently, and then boom, it comes out right at the bottom. And that's just a quick way to clean through your instrument. You can also do it piece by piece, depending on the size of your swab. My swab happens to fit through this whole part. Some swabs might not be able to fit through that barrel piece, so it just kind of depends. Maybe try taking it apart for the first time, taking that barrel off, and swabbing through just that part. Now, my barrel looks pretty well cleaned, especially since I've only played a few notes, so I'm going to take that off and I'm going to place it in the case. It's nice and safe now. And then, scooch things around, there we go. And then I have the upper joint to take apart. So holding up here and down here, I can twist it off or better yet, pressing that magic key to move the bridge and then twist, 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 twist. And we have the upper joint off. Now taking that cork grease again, 
just gently putting some cork grease on the corks every once in a while, not an everyday kind of thing, just to keep everything running smoothly. So on the top and the bottom, place my cork aside and rub the cork grease in a little. And the upper joint is done. So we can place that back in its case and it's safe. And we've got the lower joint in the bell. So we hold, avoiding the keys, and hold the bell. We twist, 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 twist. Oof, this must need a little bit of cork grease. The bell is good to go. There's no moisture in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and place the bell back in its case. Then I'm gonna grab the cork grease again and place it on the cork on the bottom part of the lower joint. moisture in here. I also only played three notes, so I'm going to go ahead and place the lower joint in the case. Now, your case probably isn't very large. Mine isn't either. So something I do is I kind of ball up the cleaning cloth. So it's a nice ball. Place it inside of the bell, and then you can fit it in your case nice and comfortably. Once you have it all placed in your cork grease, you have the cap wherever you put it, put that on, you put that in your case, close her on up, and you are good to go.